It's time again for a taxi vlog. The 11th of April, 2011. 11.04.11. Or 4.11.11. But I, I like to put the day, month, year in that order. Taxi vlog 152. In which our hero... Oh, there's no heroes in this thing. No heroes at all. It's just little old me trying to scrape a living together by grabbing dimes off the pavement. So, Friday night went well this week. I didn't have any breakdowns or any trouble. Well, around 4 o'clock. I had been sent to an address and these people got in and they gave me a general area to go to, no specific address. And then uh, one of them that was sitting right behind me said, turn left here, which is kind of what I was about to do. Then the one in the seat way back there, there was one guy in the seat way back there. The two girls were sitting behind me and one guy was in the back seat. He said, no, no, go straight. Trust me, it's quicker. And the girl said again, no, no, turn left. And the guy in the front says, no, go straight. At that point, I said, whatever. And the other one who had not said anything who was sitting to the right in the back seat said, you know, if you hate your job so much, why don't you do something else? At that point, I was pulling the car over to the side. I was going to make them walk or call another cab with their fucking cell phone. That is the most rude and obnoxious thing to do. So I asked her, how would you like it if I came into where you work and said, you don't belong here, you should find yourself another job. That's a big insult. You know, I don't hate my job. I only hate, hate it when people like that, okay, go, 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 go. when people like that get in my car. Get past the stupid obnoxious bus. They have this rule here that when a bus turns his signal on, he's got the right of way. And of course, they abuse it and go really slow and take their time. Now he's behind me, so whatever. Uh, I digress. I was talking about uh, that ride, so for some reason, Instead of just stopping the car and say, look, you obviously don't like this taxi, take another one. But no. I kept driving like a stupid idiot. And they were telling me how they deal with customer service all the time. And just because you got somebody who's had a few drinks in the car doesn't mean I have to be miserable. A few times the word miserable came up. Miserable. Anyway, we finally got to our destination. What are you doing? Okay, drive. Meals on wheels. Yeah, beep yourself. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fucking assholes. Take forever to do anything. Then they put you in danger. And no, I'm not using a handheld device. <sighs> There's got to be some planet in retrograde or something this week. It's been a little bit like this. Especially with the people I was talking about. And then finally... When we got to our destination, they wanted to pay Interac, to which I said nothing. I 
I said nothing. And then she's got the machine in her hand and she's tapping on the buttons and she said, no tip! Fine. I said, here's a tip for you. You may request not to have me come and get you ever again. In fact, I'll be glad not to come and get you ever again. End of that. Ten minutes after dropping those people off, I had a call. It was just an innocent call to a street. I picked up. And the guy got in and went to the airport. $55 fare. The night ended up very well. I did I did good for a Friday. The following night, Saturday, for some reason, was so smooth. I connected all night long. It just worked. You know how sometimes things just work? And at one point, I need a vacation. At one point, just like the week before, my MDT and my meter went black. I just had to find a place that was bright enough so I could see under the hood and replace the fuse that was out. So I replaced the fuse and I got back on, turned a corner, this guy waves at me in front of a pub and says he called for one I said well it's not me but I'll take you anyway just as he's getting in and other cabs coming up anyway we drive out of there he ends up going to the rich part of town for a $14 fare he gives me $20 the rest of the night went very well at the end I had another airporter another $55 fare and for the first time, they had opened up the new overpass that goes over the Pat Bay Highway to go to the airport. And what a clusterfuck it is. It's like three or four roundabouts in a row where a simple T intersection would have done it. And two lane roundabouts. And in order to figure out where you're going, you have to follow the little airplanes that are painted on the ground. It's a joke compared to what we used to have. It's expensive and it's going to cause all kinds of confusion and probably lots of accidents because none of it makes any sense at all. Confusing signs and roundabouts and airplanes painted on the ground. Yeah, that night turned out okay even though I did have a mechanical failure. No problems with any people at all. None. None. It was just smooth and great. Sunday night, last night, surprisingly good. The pace was steady, but slow, which was okay. And at the end, I had one going out to the Western communities for $32. She gave me two 20s and said, keep the change. Well, you know, this week so far has been good. Now it's Monday night. I hope yours is better than mine. And if it is better than mine, I think it's going to be really good for you. Good night.